Hello everybody, should we be shocking patients in asystole? This is something to think about. We know that the survival rate from asystole is abysmal, uh, 2% at best, probably about 0.2%. But we know that the overall survival from out of hospital cardiac arrest is about 8%. But when that rhythm is ventricular fibrillation, the survival increases to about 20% or more, especially if defibrillation is early. The key is this, not all asystole is real asystole. Up to about 8% of asystole has been shown to be ventricular fibrillation. So early defibrillation of those patients that are not real asystole may lead to increased survival. We miss it because we're not seeing it on our monitors because we don't scan the leads. We also miss it because we're not doing echoes and cardiac arrests during the rhythm check time. So let's look for ventricular fibrillation. And if we need to in the asystolic patient, one shock, that's all because these patients may benefit.